What is going on guys? It's your boy Codestar here back with another video. Today I had to move my camera back a little bit so I can fit this box in the frame. But today we'll be reviewing the Beat'em On Crossfire Break Bomber Battlefield. Um, yeah, I'll unbox it here, but I will definitely have to move to the floor for demonstration. Let me go ahead and get this box open. I'm gonna go ahead and use a knife. Make sure that if you're gonna use a knife to cut anything, that you have parental supervision. Right. Alright, that's it for the box. Here's the back real quick if you wanted to see that. Here's a little pamphlet. Oh, this is the instructions. We'll set that to the side. Well, we don't really need to go over any of the pieces, so we'll just go ahead and get these figures out. Alrighty, just got these two out of the packaging. First, we'll go over this guy. His name is... Thunder Drassion. Here's his character card. And here's the code on the back that you probably can't use. Um, it's pretty dope looking guy, if my camera will focus. It's pretty dope looking. Um, this guy has exclusive stickering on him, so he looks different from a regular stock Drassian. Now, I think he gets this red trigger here, and here is the code on that. Oh, eh, whatever. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this and pop it into the back and yeah so these guys actually there's a tool somewhere but I don't feel like finding it but these little bolts twist out and you can pull the arms and legs off which is a neat idea but I don't really see myself customizing these too much so yeah pretty pointless here is a lightning device also has exclusive stickering he's got some gold stickers on him i think he's a pretty dope looking character go ahead and put this trigger on and the code is sort of printed a little off, ain't it? It was just focused, come on. Whatever. Here's his character card. And the code. Alright, so I just took a little bit of time to set this thing up, and it's actually pretty long. So... Um, I don't know how long I'll keep this angle because I don't really have a lot of room to mess around with it when it's fully set up, but uh, pretty much the object of the game is that you shoot these marbles here into these blocks and what happens is that these blocks push out and eventually a red block will come out now having a red block on your side is pretty bad because the first person to have red block three red blocks on their side loses so we'll do a demonstration of the game also each beatamon comes with a magazine that just clips into the back Sorta. 
this top piece twists off, and then you can just have that. But I don't know why you just have that when you can have the whole thing. So right now, I'm going to break this down a little bit and get to a position where I can demonstrate how to play. Alright, we're back with a pretty good setup here. And something else I forgot to mention while I was down there is this came with a sticker sheet. Um, I'll put those on later. I won't bother right now. But this is the setup I decided to do. Just a little small thing. Um, you know, on my review table. So anyway, let's go ahead and do a demonstration of these beat em on. Now this guy is a power type, so the launches are going to be powerful. He's got a little piece of rubber on his uh, little tongue here, which I think you can take out somehow. It's supposed to put spin on the marble too. Um, but I heard that that more works with the glass marbles and not the plastic ones, but we'll just try it out. Oh, my magazine jammed up. Oh, and it looks like there's a little piece that came off. Looks like just a little plugs into the side there. I might have to glue that on later. Nope, that one got stuck. Alright, we're out there. So, yeah, that was... What was his name again? Drassian or something like that? Without him. Reset this and try out Dravice. Alright, just got this reset, so now we can take a look at Dravice. This guy is a speed type, um, or rapid fire type. He's got little wheels in his core here to help the uh, marble come out really fast. He's got little wheels on his feet, too, to help him slide across, but it's not really working on my playmat here, so I can't really demonstrate that too well. So, I guess we'll see just how fast he can shoot. Oh, he jammed up. Alright, so that was pretty fast. Um, I guess he's a rapid fire type for a reason. This, you can actually buy this product pretty cheap on eBay, um, pretty much retail price. I don't know what the retail price is, but I'm assuming it's whatever I bought this for, which was something like 30 or $40. I'll definitely be using this to review beat em on. And I guess we'll just do a little test shot here with... Pemby, and I missed. Great. Well, that was it for today's Beat 'em On review. Um, kind of curious as to whether or not this battlefield will work with the Bottlemon coming out, but I guess we'll find out when it comes out, and I review it. So. That's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one.